So stay tuned. I gotta get showered off. I'm gonna explain the whole Zwift sweat up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like for my girlfriend to ride it. She's like, yeah, I'll race. Wait till you see what she said about riding this thing. You don't wanna miss it. And click the like button while you're at it. Don't wait for the end of the video. You might forget. So Allie is going to try my bike setup to see what it's like. So those of you who don't know, I race on this bike that's a bicycle for outsiders, Ow. a giant bike. And it's Ow. a tax Neo. It's so high. Ow. And it's not that high because her legs are longer than mine. So just pedal away. So that's in like the easiest Ow. gear type thing. Ow. Ow, it's hurting my vagina so badly. So it's fun, right? How do you sit on this seat? So you just do that and you go all out. Oh, wow. So it's, oh. it's fun, right? No, it's, I mean, I just could never. Put your hands on something so that you don't put as much pressure. It doesn't matter. Your, your, I, you don't rest your whole body on the seat. My whole body's rested on the seat. You're pushing with your feet on the pedal so it lifts your butt almost off the seat as you're riding because you're putting well, I, I all these walks down. I need your shoes on because I have to hold on to this with my toes. It's not comfortable. I, could, I couldn't, I would have to get another seat. So it's not easy is what she's saying. Oh. Oh. So it's fun, right? No, it's not fun. I think my <laughs> vagina is broken. She may or that. may not have broke her vagina. Look at that seat. That's so not it's perfect. made See? for a vagina. See, your, your, your parts can go in between no. a little bit. <laughs> parts are so not you don't get numb. to go in there. And so oh. this is this machine. You see? You see? You see? A little bit of weird lighting here, but so the bike goes on this machine. This thing, this tax thing, weighs like 50 pounds. Yeah, and, and so you when you pedal it, it it's actually allowing the resistance to be stopped, and then this wheel is flying. Well, so as you turn it, you're making that thing turn, which is weight, and you're pushing it. And it transmits a signal through the magic of technology that I don't understand, Bluetooth stuff. It goes up this wire into the computer and then boom, it's on TV. So you press this like this app thing that you download and it says stop sharing. So my brother who actually knows technology, he's like using my computer right now and setting it up. So he's setting it up so that he can record stuff on it. But there should be like Zwift here somewhere. So there. So this is my dude. I have orange socks. I think it's my dude. I have a mohawk to so that guy probably. Which one's a mohawk? There. That's me. Hi. So the race starts in 20 minutes. So I have to actually warm up soon. Oh, and I wanted to talk about this. So, so basically, I put this butt chap, it's called chamois butter. So it's like anti-chafe cream. So it's butt cream. You put it in your crotch so that you don't get like irritation. So, yeah, so one day I wasn't really in the smartness of all people and I used this. And it's a heating cream. It keeps you warm. So let's just say it's the most painful thing you could ever do. You put it on your crotch and then your crotch is on fire. Literally, and I'm riding this bike and I'm like, what is wrong with my crotch? And I get off the bike and I wash it off and I get back and it's burning for an hour. So I did one race about a month ago like that by accident. Yeah. So anyway, so I have my, what do you call these things? bike shorts okay so it's got a padding it's got padding padding on the bum so that it's less annoying on here and i got these special shoes see that and it clips into here clips right in so that it's more comfortable for me and then i can watch stuff that's going down right there it tells me like my heart rate and my power and my time and all these different stats that no one cares about but me 
because I'm a stat nerd. And then I look up on the screen and I can see watts and my heart rate. So my heart rate's 100 and I'm not even moving. And then there's the countdown, see? So 18 minutes, I have to do this lap, okay? And I'm racing B. I used to be racing C. I was ranked first in C and then they moved me up to B because now I'm too fast for C. So I'm into the higher racing dudes. But anyway. Today's race is open A, B, C, and D. So all ability levels, we're all racing together. It's a short race. It's about four kilometers long. It'll probably take under six minutes. We're probably gonna average 50 kilometers an hour because it's very, very short. So it's like a battle of like the sprinter, me, because I'm short, powerful sprinting, because obviously I'm a weightlifter, versus my brother who's got the best endurance, way faster than me for endurance. But we're meeting in the middle. It's like Usain Bolt, I'll be Usain Bolt, although obviously I'm not that good, against a marathon runner, but we're racing one mile. So who can win, the sprinter or the marathon runner? My brother would beat me by a lot on a one hour race and I would beat him by a lot on a 10 second race, but it's somewhere in the middle. He beat me in the last race by almost a minute. We raced the last time and today it's best two out of three. So I'm going to try to catch up to him. It's not a sprint. It's still five or six minutes. So it's not easy. It's still endurance, but it's somewhere in the middle. So it should be really interesting. So yeah, basically we just, Go as hard as we can, keep up as long as we can. And whatever happens, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, this is my first race as an official B rider. I was the number one ranked C rider until yesterday or the day before yesterday. And then I got moved into B, so. Now I'm at Steve's level officially. I'm no good at endurance, so it's not even a close. Like if we race for an hour, I have no chance to win. Like it's not even fun. But a short race like this, I have a chance. All right, we got 20 seconds, so we gotta get ready for this. Oh, we're not gonna be talking much during this race. And we're off, we're off! Oh. I'm already dead. God, my heart rate's already 170. Oh, sorry to come back. Oh. 
So I got 10th out of 100 or so, maybe 11th. I think you got 8th, I think I saw. I think I was 6th. Uh, I didn't get to score. 6th? I think I might have won the Bs. I'm looking at overall. A, B, C, D, it flashed the results. I was uh, 0.3 seconds behind. I think I could have paced it a bit better. I went to the front a couple of times. When you're in the front, you're blocking the wind from everyone and losing energy. If you're behind someone, you're saving a lot of energy because we're riding 50 kilometers an hour. Just like stick your arm out when you're driving a truck on the highway and feel the wind pushing you. That's what happens here. If you're behind a bunch of guys, it's a bit better. The hill at the end killed me. Steve's strategy worked. I was right there at the end. And what, so what, is that what you did? Is that it planned out exactly? <laughs> Except for my brain couldn't think about what was happening for the last minute. Uh, like I kept looking up and I saw there was like a half kilometer left. It's like, holy shit, we're at the end. Like, thank God. And then it was just all out. I could see your oh, yeah. guy, but I couldn't tell if you were in front or in side. But it was hard. <laughs> it's really hard, but it's short. So there's a lot of pain, but it's really over before you know it. I prefer that race over like a 30 minute or an hour race because the suffering is longer. I'd rather suffer for five minutes. Well, so, suffering. I like so a, Steven is still faster than me at both events. So we're going to have to change it to best three out of five. And with this freaking situation in the world, we're only allowed five people in a gathering at this point. We have to practice, you know, social distancing and all that. So this is a great way. I race a hundred people and I'm not in touch with any of them.